What's up friends and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am doing a three-way comparison between some of the most popular sleep trackers on the market. We're talking about the Aura Ring, the Withing Sleep Tracker Mat, and the Pillow App. Since making my first Aura Ring video, a lot of you have reached out and asked about how the Aura Ring compares to other trackers on the market. And so I did a two-week experiment to see how my data compared. And based on my results, I'm gonna to explain to you how each one of these devices works. Then we're gonna break down my data and help you determine which one is gonna give you the best bang for your buck. But first, if you're new here, welcome. My mission is to help you achieve success without sacrificing your health or happiness. I do product reviews weekly, so if you're into this, click that subscribe button and join the type A tribe. So in this video, I'll be breaking things down into a couple of different categories. We're gonna start with form and functionality, then we're gonna head over to metrics, we're gonna look at accuracy, and finally, we'll wrap up with my pros and cons. Also, if you're familiar with all these devices and you just wanna skip ahead to my data, you can find the timestamps in the description below. Cool, so let's start with the Aura Ring. <laughs> So if you haven't seen my full review yet, you might wanna go back and check that out because in that one, I list out all the specs. But if you just want the highlights, well, here we go. So Aura is a super lightweight titanium ring that you can basically wear 24 seven. And it uses advanced sensors to track things like your HRV, your heart rate, your temperature, and of course, your sleep cycles. It comes with a very user-friendly app that gives you a full breakdown of your sleep each night, including your deep REM and light sleep scores. And it even has an activity tracker that measures things like your steps, total calories burned, and how active you were throughout the day. Now, unlike a lot of sleep trackers on the market, we're talking about the Dream 2 or even the Smart Sleep by Philips, this does not have any sticky adhesives and you don't have to worry about accidentally pulling it off your head in the middle of the night. Now, I've been wearing this ring for over a year and a half now, and I have to say it has really changed the game for me when it comes to my relationship to sleep. So a couple of important features to point out about the Aura Ring. To start, the Aura uses red PPG sensors to detect heart rate. Now, this is the same technology that a lot of hospitals use because of its accuracy. You'll see that most trackers on the market, including the Whoop Strap, they use green PPG sensors. But this leaves a little bit more room for error because your skin tone can actually affect your ability to absorb green light. Now the Aura Ring has a great battery life. This thing can last me five to seven days, no problem. Plus it also has an airplane mode for anyone concerned about EMFs. The Aura Ring also uses NTC temperature sensors, and these can detect changes as small as 0.01 Celsius. This has actually been recently used in some case studies around the world to detect early warning signs of certain illnesses. But I will say the Aura Ring is not cheap. It does start at $300. Next, we move on to the Withings Sleep Mat. So if you haven't heard of them before, Withings is actually a European company that specializes in all health tech related products from scales to smartwatches and even blood pressure monitors. So the Sleep Mat is just one of their many tracking devices. Now, unlike the other two sleep trackers I'm talking about in this video, the Withings sleep mat is not something you wear. You just simply lay on top of it. It's about two feet long and will slide right underneath your mattress. And you don't have to worry, it doesn't make any sounds while you're sleeping. You just have to calibrate it once and then you are good to go. But you do need to keep it plugged in and you do need to connect it to Wi-Fi. So in terms of metrics, here's what you'll get with the Withings. You'll get a breakdown of your sleep cycles you'll get your total sleep score, you'll get your average heart rate and snoring duration. Now, I personally don't have any snoring issues, so this was kind of a useless stat for me. Now, this particular device only tracks your sleep, but if you have other compatible Withings devices like the Scale or Smartwatch, you can actually connect all of them for a full health analysis. Or you can just connect it to your Apple Health data for activity tracking in case you wanna see some correlations between your exercise and sleep. So we'll get to my sleep stats in just a sec, but here are some important features to mention. In the Withings app, you can actually set a personalized reminder for when to go to bed or when to cut off your caffeine consumption to help you keep better track of your sleep. You can also export your data as a PDF and share directly with your doctor, which is something I haven't seen in a lot of other apps and I thought this was a really cool functionality. It's also relatively affordable. The Withings is only gonna cost you uh, about a hundred bucks. Now the 
only concern I had is that I share my bed with my fiance, so how is the mat only tracking my sleep? Now on their website, they claim that the mat can actually differentiate between the person trying to track their sleep from the other person in the bed, but I was still a little bit skeptical, especially because our bed is really small, but I'll let the data kind of speak to that. And finally, we come to the Pillow app for your Apple Watch. So this is super simple. You just download the app on the App Store. It's about $5 a month. And then all you have to do is wear your Apple Watch to bed. It actually will auto detect your sleep for you. And of course there is a manual mode, so you can use that one as well if you prefer. Now in terms of metrics, it records all four stages of your sleep cycle, and it will also look at your average heart rate and give you a total sleep quality score. So let's take a look at some of its unique features. This is a cool one. You can actually record any sound you make while sleeping. It could be really helpful for someone who has a lot of snoring issues or maybe someone with sleep apnea, but you do have to manually input the time that you're going to bed. This is not gonna work for the auto detection of sleep. Now I did do this one night and it sounded like I was mumbling about something relating to Drake, classic. But of the 25 audio recordings that it collected, it was mainly just sheets ruffling. Now, when you set a wake up alarm window of about 15 to 30 minutes, Pillow will actually wake you up when you are in the lightest sleep stage possible. So that is a really nice feature as well. And then finally, over time, Pillow will actually use your data to give you some sleep recommendations and guidelines. And you can find that in the sleep lab section of their app. So if you already have an Apple Watch, then this app might be a no brainer for you. It's only $5 a month. But if you don't have an Apple Watch and you're thinking about buying one, well, the newest generation is just a little bit more expensive than the Aura Ring. It's actually $399. Now, obviously that is a huge investment, but the Apple Watch does have a lot of really unique features, including text notifications and fitness tracking. So this is really designed to be this kind of all around lifestyle tracker. So the accuracy of certain things like your heart rate detection, probably not as accurate as say something like the Oura Ring. But if you're willing to make a trade-off, I still think the Apple Watch is a great option. And I even preferred it to the Whoop Strap in terms of tracking my own fitness. So now that we've looked at how each one of these individual trackers work, let's bring out the data and see how they compare to one another. So to simplify things, we're gonna go off the assumption that the Oura Ring is closest to accuracy. And so I'm gonna compare the other two apps using Aura as a baseline. Now, for the most part, all three apps were within a half an hour of each other for my overall sleep time. I did have two very strange nights on the Withings app though, that recorded my sleep for less than seven hours, whereas the Pillow and Aura app said they had over nine hours of sleep. So I am not entirely sure what happened there. Then we move on to my resting heart rate. Both the Withings and the Pillow app were almost nearly identical in my overall BPM, but they drastically differed from what I was getting off my Aura Ring. Let's take May 9th, for instance. As you'll see here, the Aura Ring is showing me that my resting heart rate was at a 49, but both the Pillow and the Withings app said it was at a 60. So that's a pretty big discrepancy in my opinion. And now we're gonna move on to sleep cycles. And here is where we get into some funky numbers, guys. So let's take a look at my chart comparing all three. For my light sleep scores, you'll see that the Aura and Withings tend to follow similar trend lines, despite being off percentage wise. Now the Pillow app is not too far behind, but you'll see here there are a lot more spikes in the opposite direction than the other two. For my REM sleep, well, apologies in advance because this chart looks a little crazy. The Pillow app is kind of all over the place with some major spikes that you don't see with either the or or Withing lines. And this comes as no surprise as I did see a couple of weird outliers like on May 12th, when my Aura reported 27% REM and the Pillow app showed 43%. And then we move on to my deep sleep chart where once again, I have absolutely no idea what's going on with the Pillow app. To start, Pillow's deep sleep percentage is just off the charts with most spikes going in the opposite direction of Aura. The Withings shows some relative consistency to the Aura's trend lines, but as you'll see, the overall percentage of deep sleep was 
much lower than the Aura and the Pillow apps. So based on all of this, here are my main takeaways. So the Withings had a couple of nights with some gross misreporting, but overall, it seemed like the trend lines matched up with my Aura Ring, at least when it came to deep and REM sleep. Now for the Pillow app, I saw much more consistency in terms of my total sleep time as compared to the Withings app, but when it came to my light and my deep sleep, ugh, those were just like night and day compared to my Aura Ring. And then the only stat where there was some similarities between my Aura Ring and the Withings and Pillow app was in my REM cycle. And even then I had some weird spikes and a couple of discrepancies on certain nights. And so that brings me to my final point on the pros and cons of all three trackers. So if your main goal is sleep accuracy, 100% I'd go with the Aura Ring. For the pros, it's got advanced sensors, great battery life, and it is super comfortable to wear. On the downside, it's pretty expensive. Now, if your main goal is convenience and you already have the Apple Watch, then I would definitely go with the Pillow app. The pros include some unique features like audio recording and an alarm that actually wakes you up in the middle of your lightest sleep cycle. The cons though, mm, some questionable accuracy when it comes to your light and deep sleep scores. And then finally, if your main goal is just to make a little bit of an investment to establish a better sleeping habit, then go with the withings. The pros is it's not a wearable. It is fairly accurate compared to the Aura Ring when it came to my REM and deep sleep. And it's got some really unique data export features that I haven't seen with a lot of other trackers. In terms of cons, I did see some nights where there was some very inaccurate reporting. And it's also hard to know how accurate my heart rate metrics are since it's not actually tracking my pulse. So here are my final, final thoughts. At the end of the day, I think your most important decision is not even the tracker itself, but just getting into the habit of sleep tracking. Yes, the Aura Ring has been a huge game changer for me in terms of sleep, but more than accuracy, it's just helped me establish a better sleep routine in general. For me, I have found that getting a good night of sleep is pivotal for my mood and productivity the next day. And so by paying closer attention to my sleep patterns and the habits that affect my sleep for better or for worse, I've really been able to optimize for this. And so I would say find what works for your budget and just get started. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you found this information helpful and useful. If you did, please give it two big thumbs up. And if you're not already, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and join the Type A tribe. And I can't wait to see you on the next one.